Welcome back team. It is your biggest fan, the real Casadero. And if you are ready to step out of tutorial purgatory and start using your knowledge for good. And when I talk about good, I'm talking about you start using your knowledge for yourself on yourself. This is the video for you in this video. I'm going to show you how to do something super awesome with PowerShell on any system. Let's roll team. So team, we're going to hit the Windows key and we're going to type in terminal, terminal, and this is going to open up the Microsoft terminal. And the reason why I'm using terminal now is because they have tabs so we can open up multiple tabs. We can switch back and forth between tabs. We can hit control W to close tabs and this is just super awesome. So we can do a DIR here and then we could be like, oh, I want to go do something else and we can go just control T to make another tab and then we can go do our other thing so we could do like a CD uh, home and we'll do a DIR there so this is more stuff here we can do a control tab and then when we're done we can just close that out and now we're back where we need to be so I'm gonna put a clear in there so that's one thing if you want to get the Windows terminal application just hit your Windows key and type in store and when that pops up you're gonna go up here to the search and you're just gonna type in terminal terminal boom boom ba, boom enter and then it's going to pop up here with terminal and you just click there and install and then you'll be good to go to run it the same way i did just by hitting windows and typing in terminal there also if you would like to follow along you want to go out to the internet and you're going to want to grab yourself a few tools and those tools are going to be visual studio code git and PowerShell core. Now I'm using PowerShell core here. Uh, that command you just saw me do tools. That is an actual function that I wrote and I'm going to show you how to write your own function today to do the same kind of things team. Uh, so you want to grab yourself a copy of PowerShell core. You can get that over at github.com forward slash PowerShell forward slash PowerShell. And when you get there, you just scroll down, read through it a little bit, check things out, read it up and then Pick the operating system that you that you have uh, and follow the instructions, install it, and you're good to go. Then you're going to grab yourself a copy of Visual Studio Code. And Visual Studio Code is just, I write everything in Visual Studio Code. Everything, everything. The, the features, you can move lines around. You can select whole paragraphs and move them. You can do everything in here. And you can program in any language. It's just a fantastic code editor, a bunch of plugins, and that's what I'll be using in this video and for all my videos for the foreseeable future. I don't know what's going to come out next, but when it does, I'll know about it and I'll use that. But for now, Visual Studio Code is it. And last but not least, we are going to be using Git to track versions of what we make here. And that is it, team. Just install Git. Git is a version control tracking system. And if you are not familiar with Git, what you want to do, uh, and well, and if you're interested in learning a little bit more about web development, you're going to want to go check out my last video card in the description above my head team and you can uh you will get a crash course a crash course you're going to build a whole website you're going to learn html you're going to learn css you're going to learn you're going to learn about um what was it uh you're going to learn about git because i'm using git throughout the whole thing to save everything so it's just a fantastic course 100 percent free team go check that out and it will also it will also be available at the code 365 startuplab.com if you would like to support the channel i would appreciate it team it would be fantastic but that is it visual studio code powershell core and get what you can get over at git-scm.com links in the notes below so we're going to close this with the alt f4 and it's going to ask us if we want to close all tabs we're going to say yes we do and now we're back here inside of powershell and what we're going to do is we're going to type code and we're going to type dollar sign profile and this is going to open visual studio code with our powershell profile now my powershell profile is full of stuff there's all kinds of stuff in here team uh but you you may not have nothing in yours but i'm going to show you how you can put stuff in your powershell profile and and actually have it do cool stuff all right team so check it out so what we're going to do 
is we are going to make a function and this function is going to build new web projects for us so we're going to go down here and we're going to write function and we're going to write new uh we're going to call this new idea so we'll put new idea and that's going to be our function name and our function is going to take in a, a parameter and our function is going to take in a parameter we're going to give it a angle bracket and the first parameter is going to be uh, the project name so project name and that's going to be it so we'll just have project name here and actually no this project name is going to go outside of these square brackets in inside of the square brackets we're going to put the type and the type is going to be string so what we're doing is we're telling PowerShell that hey when we run this function expect to see a parameter in the form of a string so we don't want any numbers or anything this is going to be a string of characters and then when you get that function you're going to do something with it I mean not when you get that function but that when you get when this function is called you're going to do something with this string that was given that was given with it that was given as a parameter so we're not giving gonna even do this team what we're gonna do is gonna take this out get rid of that and down here we are just gonna put a p a r a m and we're gonna put a parenthesis there and inside of that we are going to put a variable and we're going to call this project name and now underneath that all right team then we just go outside of our parameter like that and we say mkdir and we are going to make that directory after this project name that we have here then we're going to add a comma and we're going to make another directory but it's going to be inside of this directory so maybe just to be safe we're going to put it on this line we're going to do a make dir and then we're going to do a project name forward slash uh, CSS and we're going to do the same thing again and this is going to be a JS and we're going to do the same thing again this is going to be a IMG and again and this is going to be a DOCS and I think that's it I think that's it so now we've got uh, all these directories and now we're gonna make some files to put in those directories so down here we're gonna scroll down just a bit and we're gonna do a how do we call this how do we call it new item so new dash item and with our new item we're gonna make a new item in our projects so we'll put a dollar sign project name forward slash CSS forward slash uh, and this one is going to be oh main.css so we got main.css and then we'll do we'll duplicate that and this is going to be main.js JS and over here this is going to be a JS and I think that's it for that right there so we got our main oh we need an index and so our index is just gonna go right inside of our project name so we can duplicate this right here by hitting uh, alt and shift and going down and so we'll just take this out and we'll move this back up to the top and so now we've got oh and we don't want it to be main.js we're just gonna make this index.html all right and so now we've got our function when we run it when we say new idea and we give it a name is gonna go is gonna create all of this stuff so we'll save and then we'll go back over here into our terminal and we'll type exit to close that out and now we'll hit Windows bring up the terminal again and we'll set it for PowerShell core which is what I'm using and then the only reason why I say this is because you're going to have multiple profiles up here you have your PowerShell core profile if you install PowerShell core you'll have your Windows profile blah 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 um, it's your PowerShell core profile but if you if you use your 
Windows profile, which is a different profile than anything that you did in your PowerShell core profile won't be in your other profile. So you'll have to copy it over. So just beware of where you are when you're doing all this stuff, team. All right. So we're back in here and now we can run the command. What was that command? New idea. So we'll type new dash and then we'll hit. Uh oh, let's go back. We'll go new dash ID and then we'll hit tab. So we got new idea. We hit enter. And it told us that something went wrong, cannot bind argument parameter path because it is null at user. And then it tells me exactly where we are in my PowerShell profile, uh, line 134, character 11, make dir project name. So it says cannot bind argument to parameter path because it is null. So I guess when we go to make dir, uh, we haven't taken something in yet. So let's go back and take a look at this. So we got our fun. Oh, so it doesn't make DIR because we didn't give it a name to make. So if we go back, if we go down here and we do a DIR, where did it put it at? Do, 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 do. Sandbox. Ah, we didn't give it a name, so it didn't make it. Well, actually, hold on. Oh, it just made it on the root drive. So if we go to, uh, cd dot dot to go up one directory into a dir we have all these random files here so we got the css this docs this image this js um this index.html and that's because it didn't know where to where to make those files but check this out team if we if we did it like this so let's just make a uh Let's just go back into the real Casadero folder. So we'll CD the real Casadero DIR because it's, it's cleaner in there. And we'll go into do a DIR. We'll go into the uh, the construct. So we'll CD into the construct. And then we'll go into this code directory. So we'll CD into code. And there's nothing, there's nothing else in here. So if we do a new dash idea, and actually, let me clear the screen so you can see. So DR, there's nothing in here. We'll clear the screen. And if we do a new dash idea and we give it a name of it's awesome. Let's see. It's awesome. Enter. And then we do a DR. We have this it's awesome right here, team. So that is how we can. And if we go into it's awesome, CD slash is awesome. All our files and folders are there. So that's just one way on the command line we can write a script to do something cool. So here let's 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 go back and create another script. Right. So we'll Alt F4 to close out of this. And then we'll just go right down here. And if you type in a function and YouTube and some opening and closing curly brackets like this and then do a start dash process h well you need uh some quotation marks and do a https semicolon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com and hit control s to save all of this alt f4 to close it and hit your windows key and open up your terminal when you go back you can type youtube and YouTube will open on the screen. Well, hold on. YouTube opened somewhere else for me. Let me go back and find this. Where are you? Okay, there we are. So check this out, team. So now we'll close this. We'll Alt F4. Close all those tabs. And now we'll clear this out. And when we type YouTube, it will come right here to our YouTube page. And so you can make functions in there that will do anything, team. Absolutely anything you can imagine. And if you would like to dig deeper into PowerShell, head over to coding365startuplab.com and check out the free PowerShell primer where you can go in there and I give you some cool introduction information to PowerShell um, and how just to get started with PowerShell and if you want to support the channel team all you have to do is go back and sign up for the code 365 startup lab 99 bucks for lifetime access right now and 
there's going to be more content coming team right now in here i'm working on html and we're going to go deep we're going to cover all of the prime stuff you need to know when it comes to html but not just about building web pages but about how to build and structure those pages in order so they get traffic from the internet and you can code for fun and profit team building your own sites to make your own money so you don't have to depend on someone else. After that, we're going to get down into the nitty gritty of CSS and we're going to cover what you need to know in order to lay out your page to look any way you like. And after that, we go into JavaScript where you learn to code and build your own web applications team but you can also check out writecodedrinkcoffee.com where you can find gear for coders like these hats that we have here or some stickers and mugs all right team and if you don't want to do any of that stuff just leave a thumbs up on the channel and subscribe we're growing every day we're at about 5,800 subscribers now and the more subscribers the better share the videos across the internet team and by all means go out and use what you've learned here to build your own thing team I'm your biggest fan the real Casadero team until next time keep on coding all right Time to get back to work.